This is One on One. There she is, the beautiful, talented Joy Bauer. She's the Today Show health expert and author of The Joy Fit Club. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You have a good life. I do. You have a good life. I have a great <laughs> life. Um, let me ask you a question. When, when I, you know, you do the Today Show all the time. You know, I've come on occasionally and seen you there. Every time I see you, either at home or in the studio, you not only love what you do, but you make a difference in what you do. What does it feel like to know that? I feel very lucky. I really feel blessed that this career path found me, and it really did find me because oh. I didn't set out to be a nutritionist. Well, I always had this passion for health. I was sort of initiated into the health field. In middle school, if you can believe it, I was a competitive gymnast. And um, I shouldn't say this on television, but... Say it. It's public television. <laughs> All right, here we, we go. We need the truth. <laughs> My first diet was in high school. And I set out to figure the right food combinations to optimize my sports performance. Uh, there was no internet back then, so I went to the library and I scored through all of these big fat textbooks and I realized that complex carbohydrates and vegetables were the key to my success. So for three days straight, I appointed Ritz crackers as my <laughs> complex carbohydrates, and mayonnaise laid in coleslaw as my vegetables. Get out of here. Three days straight, that's what I ate. Anyway, I jumped ship, it didn't work, <laughs> no surprise. But that was sort of the beginning of my journey into the health field, professionally. And then um, undergraduate, I had a degree in kinesiology, which is sort of like exercise physiology, and then I went on to get a graduate degree in nutrition, and I love it. And every time... I hear somebody has transformed their lives, they're happier, they're mm. healthier, they wake up in the morning with a big smile on their face. It reminds me how much I love what I do. And again, we're gonna be showing some pictures, Joy, of some of the, the women some of the, and men, some of the people that you've made a big difference in, in their lives. But by the way, talk to us about the Joy Fit Club, uh, cookbook and diet plan and inspiration. A whole bunch of stuff going on here. You're one of my wife's favorite uh, contributors on the Today Show and, and she learns a lot so from, nice. from your work. Talk to us about some of the people who you've inspired, who, you know, they've made a difference in your life as well. Well, this series, it started four years ago, and to date we have 150 people in the club, Joy Fit Club members, and the deal is in order to get into the club, you had to have lost at least 100 pounds through diet and exercise alone. So no pills, no potions, no surgery, the good old fashioned way. And what's so cool about this series on TV and in the book, it shows people that are watching that are struggling with their weight, no matter how much you have to lose, five pounds, 10 pounds, or more than 100 pounds, that you can do it. If you believe in yourself, these are regular people. They didn't have fancy schmancy personal chefs or trainers. Regular folks. Yeah, they just ate smart and they walked more. Do, do me a favor, Joy. Talk us through this. Okay, so this is Greg McBride. And Greg struggled with obesity his entire life. He had problematic family dynamics. He had financial restraints. He had huge health scares. He has lost over two hundred pounds and this guy has kept it off now for about 10 years so he didn't just touch home plate and again how did he do it he became more comfortable in the kitchen he started cooking more he stopped the fast food he nixed the liquid calories and he started walking and this kid this guy he's a man now is the biggest love ever we're gonna go to another one guys let's go to the uh, next shot joy's gonna talk about it. who is this she's a marathon runner no. This woman no, that you're looking at now that? is a marathon runner. No, that's not runner. a marathon. Yes, no disrespect, is. but that's She's not a marathon unbelievable. runner. unbelievable. Show the aftershot. Do we have the aftershot? Please tell me. Oh, my God. That's the same person. Yeah, she's actually ranked in Los Angeles for marathon running. Like, these people have completely changed their lives. Anyone can do this, Steve. Anyone. And, and the keys are, by the way, as we're going through this, what's striking me here, you, you just threw out the whole liquid calories thing. And, and by the way, and Joy's stuff, if you know Joy's stuff from the Today Show and from her, her writing, you know that none of this stuff is fad stuff. This is clinical stuff. This is research stuff. It's proven stuff. Avoid liquid calories. What do you mean by that? Because I'm one of these people who, if I drink an iced tea, it's got to be uh, an iced tea without the calories. 
So you, you have a sugar-free iced tea. The problem is, is that liquid calories, they don't fill you up. So you still eat the same amount that you would have eaten if you would have just drank water. If you take a 20 ounce bottle of soda, there is 17 teaspoons of sugar and 250 calories. You drink two or three of those a day, you're gaining weight. You're gaining a lot of weight. But, but, but hold on, Joy, not in my, uh, I, I stopped the particular diet drink you know, diet soda. I won't mention it anymore. Great. So you got rid of the artificial but, but, but sweeteners it's my, also. Um, but I do the artificial sweetener in my iced tea, my Snapple. Uh huh. So you got I, a problem with that? Well, I do. You know, I'm not an advocate of the artificial sweeteners, and I even put stevia in there. Any of the zero calorie sugar things that sort of trick your brain. But trick I trick your brain. You know, in other words, they give you the shot of sweetness without any of the real sugar calories. I want people to get used to eating food in its natural state, drinking water, even the natural flavored seltzers. Natural flavored seltzers are great because it has the fizzy pop like soda. Yep but it doesn't have added sugar or the artificial sweeteners or stevia. That being said, I know people really love some of the diet stuff with the artificial sweeteners or with stevia, and, and I get it, and I respect that, and they can really be helpful with weight loss. No more than two items a day with those things, and then you're fine. Talk about avoiding trigger foods. What are we talking about? What are trigger foods? So trigger foods are those foods that once you start eating, you just can't stop. And that's going to mean different things for different people. For some people, it's peanut M&Ms. For some people, it's chips, chocolate chip cookies. Some people have a problem with peanut butter. You know, they stick their finger in the peanut butter jar, and before you know it, <laughs> the 10th finger, the 20th finger. So if you have to identify what are your own trigger foods and get them out of the house. It's not fair to keep them in sight. Hold on. Yeah, my wife needs, Jennifer, you need to listen to her <laughs> right now. I tell her there are certain chips, keep them out of the house. She mm -hmm. said, because we have three kid, three small kids. She said, they're for the kids, they're not for you. Who's but right? I think if they're problematic for you, get them out of the house. Because there are probably other things that the kids like that you don't necessarily love. Right? Trigger kids foods. Are, kids are get them easy. out of there. Get it's them like out a of drug. the house. It is. It is. And they stare at you and they scream your name. And even if they're in the cupboard and the door is closed, yes. you know they're there. I, do you believe in, uh, I do a lot of gum at night, sugarless gum not to eat. I think it's great. Okay. I think sugarless gum and also some of the interesting herbal caffeine free teas at night. They have desserty ones, really delicious ones. Um, Chocolate covered strawberry, red velvet cake, vanilla pomegranate I just You're saw. You're good with that. Fine. By the way, check out uh, Joy's stuff, the Joy Fit Club, cookbook, diet plan, and inspiration. Uh, great stuff here. A couple other things here. Uh, we both talk, we've talked about this before um, on the air and off about daily exercise. We both do it. I would not come in the studio today without exercising early in the morning, not only for fitness and vanity, big on vanity. Forget about the energy. I mean, you got a long, we tape, I mean, tons of interviews during a day. Mm -hmm. We need it. But every day, because? So important. I tell people to aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. And if you don't have the time to do it continuously, break it up into bite-sized pieces. You could do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes in the evening. And it could just be a walk. It doesn't matter what it is. But it's so important on so many levels. First, it burns calories, so it helps you with your weight and your diet. Next, it boosts your immune system and your mood. But it puts you in that positive mindset. So once you've exercised, you don't want to mucky it up with bad food choices. It's the perfect marriage with smart food. You're perfect. Joy, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Anytime. Steve. I love you, and I learn every time you're on. Come over And for thank you. Tonight. You just taught my wife what to do at the house. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Hackensack University Medical Center, Bloomfield College, offering small classes and big opportunities since 1868, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, and banking under the principle of stewardship, and by Verizon Communications. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source and NorthJersey.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.